back to part two of me sewing the summer dress my ultimate summer dress and i've actually connected the skirt so last time i worked on the top and the skirt and now i have connected them so that it has turned into a dress looking um i did one mistake but i caught a little bit of the fabric because it was very difficult to sew it's watching on this side not trapping this fabric beneath but it's all fine because i have one more layer that is going to somehow be sewn on and twisted and then hand fold so there's going to be a different layer over i was a bit skeptical about the sizing because people online say it was very big um but i've tried to wrap it around me and it seems like it should fit me well so we have kind of a dress at this moment in time and we have this pattern piece which is just the actual which is going to be the bust in the front we have straps which were meant to sew and supposed to twist them outwards so that the edge shouldn't show um i did not have the tool for that and it was so difficult so i just did this which is the raw edge in, inside i could actually make them again make them prettier but and this will definitely fray a bit so but i just did that a long time ago so who cares um, and here are two pockets that's going to be added and that's actually the whole dress so it consists of one two all like this is two these obviously have been sewn together and there's one front piece one back piece however i did not have enough of the fabric so i've made one seam so i've connected the back here as well so my i have two panels but it's supposed to just be one from the pattern so pretend it's one <laughs> so yeah this is four piece no normally four pieces added together and then this darts here which i've tried to do with my best ability i'm also back with my big machine so this is the singer 66k and home i have the 99k which is the same just this is the bigger one and the at home is like a mainly small version is very difficult to see the difference here but i thought this was my old dressing one turns out this knob was so stuck and we fixed it with like car oil sewing machine oil car oil was the thing that actually helped because that's the feed regulator of like how long or short the stitches are going to be and since this sewing machine can't back stitch that's the only way to secure um a stitch or like not one stitch but when you're starting so whenever i'm starting here i have to go very um, short stitch and then um screw it out or actually tighten it <laughs> and then just have normal stitches and then repeat so shorter on the end and then not tie off because i don't tie off but end the whole thing um and you've seen i've used also this um scissor here and that's all <laughs> And it works really well, I think. So yeah, I'm just going to continue and try to follow the steps I'm following because this is the Luana pattern from the fabric store. And so I'm just going to continue adding, I believe it's adding the actual, which is going to be the front. Where did you go? Okay, underneath here somewhere. <laughs> I wanted to continue on the project on the last clip you saw. However, I had a major challenge because I didn't have any sips. And this dress calls for a zip on the left side. And I thought I could continue and then add the zip later on. I couldn't. So um, I went online and bought zips. Um, so I bought a few of these longer zips, just white, um, 50 centimeters. Ooh. And this is an invisible zip. If you do this correctly, you're just supposed to see this little drop here. Like that. 
I'm very excited because I have no idea how you do this. I bought a few so I could fail and try it on different fabric first. Am I going to do that? No, I think I'm just going to try my best on the one I have. Um, also, I thought I would want to make some skirts in the future. So I got myself this, which is just some elastic band to have in the waist. This is 35 millimeters and five meters in length. So I have a few skirts because you have to close your skirt either with zips or with um, buttons or even easier with a band like this. So that's what I'm gonna do. But let's start with a zip. Okay, we'll figure it out somehow. <laughs> watched a YouTube <laughs> tutorial I think it's so c confusing about which side the zip because it's going to be on this side but then I've sewn it it's going to twist over like that and I don't have a proper like thin foot like the one on the girl where I had like a zipper foot that actually like just cradles this has like a tunnel for this so well, this might be um, a failure already, but I'll see. I'm just going to have to sew it with this thing a bit on the plastic and hope that's going to work. Oh, is it not moving? Oh my god, it can't. No, this is not going to work. How do I put it on top? Because then I'm going to sew the zipper. Like, I'm going to actually sew the freaking zipper. It's not going to work. Do I have to have a zipper foot? I did all of this and I didn't buy a zipper foot. Mm. I mean, all of these, nothing is a zipper foot. I don't know how a 40 zipper foot looked. Could this be a zipper foot? No. What? <laughs> oh no. Okay, well I'll try to sew the opposite direction just to do this. Okay, I mean it works. I'm just not trapping any fabric because I hate when that happens. I should have done listen to the ladies and actually, but I'm not doing that. We have one side of the zipper, and that's just kind of oh god, oh my god, it's pretty neat. Wow, okay, I'm just gonna have to look at the video and try to do it the other way around. We should have a zip that works. If I twist, just oh, so scary. Okay, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! This means we have. I mean, I haven't sewn that, but <gasps> moment of, of truth. We're all this close. Nicely. <gasps> wow! Oh my, look at that. We've got, okay, oh, you know what? Pretty, pretty good. 
slightly off, but that was difficult to match. Look how pretty. I absolutely love it. Um, I don't have a sipper foot, so it's not entirely invisible. But if I get a sipper foot, that will work. So I'm so glad I just got to attach it, actually. So now I guess I'm just going to look at the recipe and just perhaps sew the side down. The question is, how do I finish the side without um getting a hole here because um, i feel like the recipe calls for doing this at the end how do i actually try and like sew these together with that oh okay jules jules of course look people we just got to like clamp them together like this i guess and just continue sewing you know what everything everything of the sewing things are just based on logic all right it's just and the front and the back and the front and the back everything that's the logic of this so i assume i'm just gonna have to pin the sides of this in a logical way and it was a little bit big for me so i'm hoping you know what i could actually try it on hopefully it fits well i'll try it on before i go any further okay i already have clothes on though so it's not going to be accurate and when i tried it was just a little big so i deliberately tried to make it a little snug Oh gosh, if it doesn't fit, the whole video is ruined. <laughs> oh my god, it's not a very good idea trying this on. I don't want to like break the zipper. Yeah. It's actually going to be a little loose of a dress, but that's, I'm so glad it actually fits. So that's the bit, a little, it's, I know the sizing of this is a little oversized, um, but yeah, I'm just happy it actually fits. Did I, have I gotten it already dirty? Okay, oh, look at that. Now, what I'm going to continue doing is that, so what's the plan further? <laughs> the next step is attaching those straps. No, wait. Firstly, I'm gonna sew the ends of this. Then I'm gonna attach straps on the inside. I'm gonna have the other layer on top of this, sew that and turn it around. Then the new top which because this is the lining is going to be hand stitch around i'm going to hem the hem and figure out how long i want it because now it's way too long um or i mean this is how the original recipe was i think i want to have it just above my knees the original recipe calls for a little longer than the knees below the knees i think this is a cute summer white summer dress i want it not like that. The other thing I kind of forgot was that I really wanted to have an underskirt, which I never did make. So if I want an underskirt, I should figure that out before I add the top one. I'm going to have to think that through a little bit. 